Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Blender, this summer, Blender got paid, and that is a great thing. If you've never heard of Blender before, well, first off, welcome to the channel, do hit like and subscribe, we cover all those kinds of things, so you'll know what I'm talking about in the future. But Blender is a free and open source 3D application. It's also capable of doing 2D animations, rendering, video compositing, etc. And it is really growing to compete with the big boys in the industry. It's amazing what this application has managed to accomplish, and a big part of that is because it is free and open source source, but they also have a bunch of developers that they pay for. Well, how do they pay for them? Well, that is through the Blender Development Fund, this guy over here. And what you're going to see from the Blender Development Fund, this is a bunch of people like you and I, we can donate to it. On top of that, so you've got 70, almost 7,500 individuals that donate to it, and a big chunk of it also comes from their corporate sponsors. They've got 39 corporate sponsors and a total of $262,000 a month in funding. Now, first glance, you're going to think, well, that's insane. And when we think about numbers, that sounds like a huge amount of money. But I'm going to show you something in just a minute, and you're going to get put into perspective of just how much Blunder has accomplished with what they have. But the reason why we're talking about it today is because, like I said, this summer they got paid. They got a couple of new sponsors here, specifically Wacom and Pico. So these two have joined at the corporate level. That is huge. I'll explain what that means in just a second. Uh, these guys joined back up in July. These guys joined up in August. Now, Wacom is one of the more interesting ones because they're joining in direct response to something that Blender did recently. On top of that, we added a new sponsor in July at the corporate level, which was Chaos. Chaos makes the V-Ray renderer, by the way, if you're wondering oh, what Chaos kicks in. We'll get back to them in just a second. But basically, some major new sponsors for the Blender Foundation. Specifically, Wacom, Pico, and Chaos. So, exactly, are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about two corporates and one corporate goal. So, these, these uh, corporate patron level here, this is a significant amount of money. By the way, Wacom used to be a sponsor. They were at thirty thousand dollars, I think it was. So, what are they paying now? Well, when you break it down, patron levels are paying at least at least two hundred and forty thousand euros per year. So that enables them to hire a couple of developers for each person at the patron tier. So adding two of these to your funding, that is substantial. That is a number of developers that you can bring on staff uh, because of that patronage, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, and then at the gold level, you are seeing 30K. So that is what Chaos joined at. And then Wacom used to be at the gold level, but they are now a patron level. So like I said, these are just huge numbers. They sound outrageously large. When you're looking at $262,000 a month, you're thinking, wow, Wow, that's a lot of money. Well, let's go take a quick look at Autodesk. Uh, Autodesk is, of course, their biggest competitor in this space because they make Max and Maya, among other applications as well. Although, interestingly enough, and I found this incredibly interesting, they actually, this is their uh, media and entertainment revenue. It's right here. Now, I'm not going to like scoff at $77 million, but... It's, it's just a literal fraction of what they make from uh, their architectural area, which I found really shocking. I actually thought that would be a lot higher. But the reason why I'm talking about today is because of their funding. So what kind of funding are their competitors working with? Again, uh, Blender is working with 200 and change a month in funding. Well, here we go. Our net expenses, so operating expenses, R&D. This is what it would be there, the equivalent. Uh, 2024, three months ending 2024, 352 million dollars. So a total of 1.373 billion dollars in R&D in 2024. Suddenly that makes this number over here so much more impressive. So you see they're, they're working on a literal shoestring budget compared to their biggest competitors. So the fact that uh, feature-wise, Blender is coming out with more features at a better rate than Max or Maya are should just tell you everything you need to know about how impressive they've been. So the first one we've got here is Wacom. So Wacom just joined this month. Uh, and you can see here on um, August the 12th, although this is just breaking news now for some reason, uh, this happened back at the SIGGRAPH conference. Uh, Wacom, pioneer of digital pen and tablet technology, announced they are expanding a strategic relationship with Blender, world's leading open source 3D creation suite. Uh, the collaboration reflects a shared commitment to empowering the creative community through accessible, high-performance tools that push the boundaries of digital expression. As part of the enhanced relationship, Wacom will provide to the patron level, that would again be 240,000 euros per year, uh, of the developer fund, the partnership focused on the optimization of the pen and touch performances, and the development of next generation Blender experiences for Android tablets, a critical step in making 3D creation more mobile and intuitive for artists and educators and innovators worldwide. 
So partnership includes collaboration with Blender developer community to ensure seamless integration with Wacom's hardware and software technology to enhance pen and touch support. So in addition to money, they're also going to be giving engineering expertise to make sure that their hardware is well supported. Uh, support for the development of the Blender platform, aligning with Blender's roadmap to make 3D accessible on tablets, uh, beginning with iOS and expanding to Android with Wacom support. And joint community engagement initiatives, including events, showcases, educational outreach, and so on. So uh, again, they were... Uh, this is why they're using terminology like expanded or enhanced. They were a gold level, but now they are a patron level. Also, they are giving more and more resources. So the entire project behind this is this one. This was announced back at the end of July that Blender was finally making a mobile version. People have been asking for this for ages. And if you want to learn more about it, I did an article on it. But specifically, they are bringing it to touch devices. They're going to start off with the iPad. Uh, so they're going to make, to support Blender's mission of making 3D technology accessible to everyone, it's important to fully embrace these platforms. Some of these devices include the Apple iPad, the Microsoft Surface, Hawaii MatePad, and the Wacom Moving Pad, so among others. So Wacom was there all along. Again, they are starting things off with the iPad Pro, which again, I found a little weird because it's a very closed platform, but Apple has been working more closely with Blender, uh, although uh, I do believe if we go back over here, uh, you won't find an Apple on this list. Apple, shame, Apple, uh, where are you, Apple? Uh, but they are working with them in other means. But you know, again, you got AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA and so on here. No Apple. Uh, so uh, that is where they're starting. They're going to bring that to the uh, iPad Pro with Apple Pencil support. But then, of course, now you've got Wacom working directly with them to support their tablets going forward, uh, which is quite cool. So that is the reasoning behind Wacom's expanded uh, collaboration with the Blender Foundation. Uh, we also have Pico. Now, Pico is an XR company. If you've not been paying attention over the last five years, XR is now the encompassing word for uh, mixed reality and virtual reality. Uh, so just there you go. I don't know why we switched from VR and MR, which made sense, because XR in the... Ah, wait, I'm going to go on a rant. I'm not going to bother doing that. But basically, they make headsets, uh, the VR headsets or XR headsets, uh, and they are working with Blender's uh, open source tool to make it better. So unleash innovative XR creation tools, deliver intuitive, immersive, and efficient workflows, and drive widespread open XR adoption. So that uh, is why they are working with Blender. So we're going to bring up and improve the XR support inside of Blender going forward. Uh, so they work with Blender to enhance the immersive virtual reality and mixed reality experiences partnership will unlock new creative possibilities for artists and developers in the global 3D community uh, with cutting edge VR and MR tools. So that's why Pico is working with them also at the patron level, which would mean 240,000 or more euro in support. And then finally, we have Chaos. Now this was back in early June. July, uh, they joined at the gold level, which guarantees at least 30,000 euros per year. It's basically half of a developer's salary there. Uh, and they are a rendering company. So they make uh, V-Ray. Uh, so the, the developer of V-Ray, Chaos, is now supporting them again to that gold tune as well. So Blender has a lot of wins this summer. Uh, definitely getting two patron level backers of plus one gold. That is a pretty substantial boost for the Blender Foundation. But if you're wondering about supporting them and you, you want to put your own money in, uh, just know, again, we, we looked at what uh, we're dealing with as the Autodesk competition and what kind of funding they have. Uh, they could definitely use more support still. So if you want to support them, do check that out. And I want to finish this off on a note of something that is absolutely insane. So when you look at the companies that are supporting them here, so we got the list of companies here, and you're going to notice here, Epic Epic gave them a million dollars. That's why they're here. Qualcomm, you've definitely heard of Qualcomm before. Pico and Wacom, you've probably heard of them as well. Here, uh, they make a, a different renderer, by the way, NVIDIA, AMD, BMW, and Intel. You've probably heard of all these companies at this point in time, but you probably have no idea what an Eris, Nest, nah, nah, whatever that last word is, what an Eris is. Eris is a person. Yeah, he's a corporate patron. Uh, it's Eris, and I'm not even going to try and say your last name. He used to work at Unity, um, a very early developer, so when they went public, he got paid. Uh, but yeah, uh, he runs the uh, game development Mastodon instance, instant, uh, instance as well. He's just an all-around cool guy, uh, but he's also apparently a corporate patron of the Blender Foundation. That is absolutely insane, because this is literally this is an individual. Billion dollar company, billion dollar company, billion dollar company, building dollar, billion dollar company, a guy. So I just wanted to shout out just how awesome that actually is of what Eris has done. Anyways, that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is that. Blender 4.5 just got paid this summer. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And also, who's not on that list that you really think should be? Like, we come back here. I, I love corporate shaming. It's one of my favorite things to do. But again, I point out uh, there's, there's no Apple on here. Uh, that's definitely a thing. I don't think there's a Microsoft on here either, uh, which, again, you'd think the two platform people would definitely be there. Uh, most of the graphics makers are here as well, so I would definitely say Apple and Microsoft are really glaringly missing there. But who would you think? Who else should be supporting the Blender Foundation? Who benefits from Blender's existence but aren't on here? Ooh, Unity. Where's Unity? Yeah, no Unity either. That can't be. Okay, yeah, that one definitely stands out. Unity! Why aren't you backing this? Uh, anyways, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think. Talk to you all later, and goodbye.